We are here to make Apple Betty. Betty. Did you name it Apple Betty? Nope. Nope. Just Betty did. Betty <laughs> named it Betty. This is Chuck. He is our Dutch oven guru here at Gigi. He actually works with us in the warehouse and he has you know, like a closet obsession with Dutch ovens. In, in fact, it's turned from closet obsession to whole bedroom obsession, right? Mm -hmm. Is this something that we are... I think my Dutch oven's in my bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> Not his own bedroom. They have their own, right? Yeah, uh, they have their own bedroom. Yeah. We, we know that, Dutch, that, that Chuck loves the Dutch ovens, but we haven't asked him yet, your child or your Dutch ovens, which one? Um, I tell my kids, get them out and keep them out, but I have to keep my Dutch ovens close to me. <laughs> right? Oh, so we are making the, the apple betty today. Um, we did this last year as part of our grilling gala, but this was like, we did the basic version, and this is Chuck's favorite version of the apple betty we're doing today. A little elevated. Apple betty revisited. We've done the basic version of the apple betty. We're revisiting it today with an elevated version. What makes this one different? Why do you like it better? This is the one I started out with and I've cooked okay. it this way all the time and so I just wanted to go back to it. It's kind of like uh, you go to a movie and you see a good movie and you don't mind seeing a good movie more than once. You don't want to see a bad movie even once. But <laughs> yes. this Apple Betty is a good movie. It's a good movie. Yes. You can't go wrong with this classic. No, you, you can revisit this one. Revisit it all the time. Okay, so what do we do to get started? Well, we want to peel some apples. Okay. Um, so we'll just throw some apples in there. We're using this slicer corer. Busts out a lot of apples all at once. Yeah, and then we gotta start this one here. Okay, so let's... We can cut that butter and we can put that in there, but... So you like the thickness that this slicer cuts at? Yeah. Which is, what would you say? Is that like a quarter That's... inch? Yep. Okay. We're gonna pull that off. Okay. Here's a knife. Do you slice that? What do you do next? We're just gonna slice them into quarters now. Look at those cute apples. And then we're gonna put it right in the Dutch oven here. Okay. What kind of apples are these, Chuck? These are gala apples. They're large. They're they are large. For like four cups. But three large ones will be good. Okay. I've already sprayed the Dutch oven here. We're gonna go right into the Dutch oven. And you've been preheating that on the bottom, right? Yes. Are you in an eight inch? What size? This is a 10 inch. A 10 inch, okay. You're doing a good job there. Thank you. <laughs> it's an honor to be your assistant uh, today. I bet. It is, I feel very privileged. How many charcoals do you have underneath? I have six. Six, okay. It's a Dutch oven, 10 inch, so I'm gonna go a little bit uh, less than I did on the 12. Okay. This is orange juice. That's not the way I prefer to use it. But... <laughs> <laughs> Out of a bag. It's, it's like specific kind from concentrate, which, what do you prefer? Uh, it's orange in color. <laughs> <laughs> that works. As long okay. as it's orange in color. Okay, how much butter do we need? We'll just cut that into slices. Okay. The whole thing. The whole stick. The whole thing. So a half over. a cup of butter. Yes. Thinner? No, just right. That's just like okay. that. And we'll put it right in there. And in here we have... We have flour, flour sugar, cinnamon, and nutmeg. Mm. You're right, this is the classic. Yes. Classic Betty. This is my favorite uh, um, pastry blender worker. Can you do this for me for a minute? Oh yeah, you bet. I just Con want it Connie's to be really great at coarse. that. Okay. Oh, we gave you a small bowl. Who set this tray up? It was me. <laughs> so when you're out camping, do you prep all of this? beforehand how much do you get ready or, or is this simple uh, enough you can just do it on the fly you can just do it on the fly you can just I love that throw kind of your recipe. ingredients in there and then get them all together and put it together awesome you can you can do that or you can grab a package of hot dogs on the way out of town nah <laughs> chuck do you really do that though no i've never done that <laughs> yeah. you would find a way to put a hot dog in the dutch oven and make it way better uh, i'll work on that <laughs> 
Tell us about your book right there in front of you while she's uh, mixing that. This is just like a, a uh, I wanted to get, put my favorite recipes in a book so that I could refer back to them. If something really jumped out at me, I saved it and I put it in a book. And I kind of take this with me when I go camping and stuff like that. So, uh, I refer to it. It looks like it's pretty worn out. <clears throat> and you started doing Dutch oven long before Google and YouTube videos. Oh, so yeah. how did you yeah. learn? Yeah. Where did yeah. you get your start? Uh, on the job training. Because <laughs> you wanted to eat it. Yeah, I just... Yeah. There wasn't there wasn't many people doing Dutch oven back then. It mm -hmm. was like you tried to find somebody else that would do a Dutch oven and say, "Okay, how'd you do it?" But what was the first recipe you ever made in a Dutch oven? Chicken. chicken. Deep fried Can't chicken. Go oh yeah. Can't go wrong. So we've got a little lid lifter. We're ready for our crumb topping. Here we go. Yep. I just Spread go. That. Yep. Put that on there evenly, right around the top there. Oh, you're doing a good job. Thank you. I have a really great hey, teacher. That looks tasty, doesn't it? <laughs> I got it? someone who knows what they're doing, helping me, coaching me. I noticed that some of the dry ingredients are, aren't completely mixed, and are you okay with that? <laughs> you know what's going to happen to it? Do tell. It's going to melt. Yes. That's what we want to hear. Yes, that's what I was hoping you would say. Is that don't stress about it. No stress about <laughs> Connie, it. Connie. <laughs> yeah. I'm I feel a lot of pressure to get this just right. <laughs> but look at Chuck, he's so chill. Yes. Okay, is that good? Yep. I'm gonna let you do okay, the Chuck just, touch. Let's just get her all the way around the top here. Okay. That, that butter is gonna is melt it, down in there. Is that an apple or a butter? <laughs> We'll find out in a half right. hour. When that's a puddle. <laughs> we just put a little bit more cinnamon on top of here. Mm. You're not measuring again, just dumping? Right, not measuring. I did measure to put it in the, there is cinnamon in the, the topping. But. And, and that full amount in the recipe went into the topping. Now this yep. is just an added bonus. This is right, yeah, okay. this is just an afterthought. Okay. okay. I gotta put some char charcoal on the top of this thing and we can get it baking, okay? Okay. Hey. How many are you planning on putting on top? Um, this is a 10 inch, so I'm gonna put 14 on top around that. And you're trying to keep this again at around 350? Uh -huh. I need about 45 minutes. I went to a family reunion and it was uh, something I needed to. Get a lot of dessert for a lot of people. So this is an easy one to just keep multiplying. Yes. Yeah, you can double it, triple it. And we'll share the charcoal guide. So depending on what size of Dutch oven you use, as long as you're keeping it around 350, um, it should cook, right? Yeah. Yeah. Ask him about his doubling. Now this, I'm going to put a few more on here because of the wind, and these are dwindling down a little bit so I'm gonna put a few more on that 14. Okay. I think that'll be just about right. Okay so when you're getting your Dutch oven to 350 degrees you have a little trick right yeah. to figure out how many yeah. charcoals to use. Yeah. This little guy right here is 25 degrees. Okay. So if you uh, figure out that they get a, about 350 degrees you need uh, to probably double your size of your oven. This is a 10 inch. Okay. So you go 20 charcoals. Great. And you want more on the top than you do on the bottom because you get more even heat. Mm. The heat rises, so you get more heat on top to, to meet the bottom. Okay. More even. Great. Okay. I always add one charcoal. So you do your your um, Dutch oven size, so this is 10. Mm -hmm. So 20 charcoals right. plus one. Right. So 21. Just for good measure. 21 all together. Okay. Most of them go on top. Okay, so we did 14 on top and seven on the bottom? Uh-huh. Great, look at that math. <laughs> Woo! Hey. Okay. How do you know if something's done? It's like, well. Start smelling if, it? If you can smell it and there, you can't smell anything, then it's not done. Mm -hmm. If it smells really good, then it's done. If it smells burnt, then it's overdone. <laughs> what if you can't smell? Then it's not done. No, wait, no what if you have no sense of smell? Oh, you have no sense of smell, you're in trouble. Get a friend. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> oh, yes. That looks good. 
That's looking good. Not done yet, but. Okay, so our time's up on our Apple Betty. Are, are we ready for this? Are you, do you feel confident in this, Chuck? I do. Okay, let's go for it. Oh, is that as caramelized as you like? Yes. <gasps> it looks delicious. It did exactly what you said it was gonna do. Fall in between the apples and just kind of coat everything around it. Mm -hmm. um, tell me what the difference is between this one and the one last year. The one last year, instead of using the flour topping, Okay. We used uh, graham crackers. Okay. Crushed up graham crackers. And is the appearance going to be a little yeah, different? Yeah, it's going to look a little bit different. Okay. Well, look they're at this. Both, they're both delicious. We've got a little bit of boiling kind of happening right here. Is that is that a good sign to look for? Yeah. To know that your apples yeah. are going to be all cooked all the way through? Yeah. Okay. Let's, let's get this ready to serve. Ooh, look at that. I want that puddle. Yeah, it looks good. I want that puddle with that crusty part. Oop. Mm -hmm. The goopy puddle crusty part. <laughs> oh, this is really, um, it's got a lot of sugar in it and it's going to be really sweet. You're not going to want a whole lot of it, but just a tiny bit of it's going to be really, really good. Mm -hmm. Will you serve us up some and, and show us? Show sure. us how much. Sure. Yeah, that's the part I want. Look at those apples. Right there. If, that's about all. That's about right. That's about good. So how many would you say this serves normally? Uh, eight or ten. Eight or ten. Okay. Looks so good. And you love to top it with? Ice cream. Ice cream. We got a little squirty whip. Squirty whip. Okay. We've got a little whipped cream on top. We're going to give this a taste. Make sure the apples are just right. Wait. You didn't give Chuck a taste. That was me. <laughs> <laughs> Chuck, that's so rude. She made you watch her eat it. <laughs> it was really hot. <laughs> Are the apples done? Uh, I didn't get any apple. <laughs> I got a lot of really, really hot topping. We're gonna try this again. No, this is right. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah, it's right. It's right. Yeah. Okay, here I got an apple now. Okay, good. Oh, you like this? <laughs> I know. Is it gonna burn me? You'll like. Mmm. It is really good. No kidding, right? Yeah. You're right. It is super sweet, but I still think it counts for breakfast. Yeah, it has apples. It's a breakfast food. It's got a lot of sugar in it. You can't, <laughs> you can't have any. <laughs> mm. Looks good. Excited to try it. So tasty. But instead, Connie's just going to eat in front of us. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Chuck. You can't try it. Did you think I was going to feed him? <laughs> At least get two spoons. <laughs> okay, the apple bitty's all done. I'm going to go enjoy this bowl by myself, apparently. No one else wants to watch me eat all by myself. We love this Apple Betty Revisited. This is a really fun version. Um, we have the recipe on our blog. There's also the original Apple Betty version on there as well. So give both a try. This is a really great recipe to get started in the Dutch oven. Yep. Right? E easy. And it tastes good. Tastes good. It's a crowd pleaser. Yep. Good luck with your Apple Bettys. <laughs>